what did we get you to do this week? Oh, it was a good one. This week, I was part of a new blind date show called Forever Else Sock, There's an Else Shoe. And Brian Downing was the host, and basically, I was on a series of dates with this guy, but at the very last VT, where we had to do our plea to camera to win the holiday, he didn't show up, so I had to go around the streets and find a guy to be my blind date. To be your blind date. Okay, let's have a look. To be my man, yeah. So, please vote for us. We've had an amazing time together, haven't we? Yeah, it's been great the last couple of weeks. The last couple Going of weeks. Mauritius and all. Yeah, we've had a great time and we really want to win the holiday, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. That holiday sounds great. Tell them about the first time that you took me out. Uh, I got a bit drunk though, didn't I? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's very nice. Tell them, tell them where we went. <laughs> he has this pet name for me, like this nickname for me. Do you want to tell them what it is? Uh, I don't know. Monkey. Munchkin. Hot stuff. Chicken. That's where we went to see all those old school movies. I do indeed, yeah. And that song. Oh my god, that song reads me back. I'm Every time I hear it. Had the time of my life. And no, I never felt this way before. What was it that, you know, made you pick me? Uh, it was your smile, your personality. Lovely eyes and lovely. She's gorgeous. <laughs> That's why we really want to win, because we feel like we've just connected, haven't we? Yes, we are connected. Uh, Tell them about the time you walked out of the restaurant when we had that massive argument. Oh, well, that was because I was feeling a bit depressed that day. I didn't sleep well the night before, you know. I seen a man looking at you from the other side of the room, and it made me awfully jealous. Please vote for us, Brian, because we've really had an amazing time, and we really want that holiday. <laughs> Hmm. We've had a great time together, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> we really, really, we've, we've, we've... Please, we want to win this holiday. I love Jennifer so much. My favourite bit in that was the man who was Johnny Giles, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was very depressed, though, about that. <laughs> Do you ever feel embarrassed getting, when you land a minute like that? No, never. You... They deserve it, they're men. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's joking. all from Jennifer McGuire, ladies and gentlemen. We left out, right, for me, the most embarrassing thing that you actually did. Let's have a look at this. I've been working here in the States uh, for the last few weeks. Yes, thanks very much, that'd be great. Uh, um, uh, Okay, half an hour from Cindy just offered me something, but I, I can't do it for half an hour. Uh, I've been working here in the States for the last few minutes. It seems... <laughs> What's your idea of a perfect date? Oh, God. Um, probably a date where you don't have to do the goodbye. Probably a date where you don't have to do the goodbye. Because I was on a date once and the guy high-fived me. <laughs> I swear to God. So if I could cut that out, because that's the awkward moment, you know, do you throw the gob on, do you not throw the gob on, do you wait for them to throw the gob on? I think, I think possibly stopping describing it as throwing the gob on <laughs> might be the first thing you do. How are you? Throw the gob on and then drop the hand. Let's go to Christmas. Um, give it up, ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer McGuire.